Welcome and hello. This is Caffeine Zombies with some bite-sized news. Today is August 1st, 2024. ChatGPT gets closer to being a Terminator and unlocks advanced voice features to some paid users. These allow for interruptions, continuing stories, and otherwise replacing your partner for any kind of deep conversation. Still in alpha, I'm sure in the not-so-distant future, ChatGPT Chat GPT may be speaking the words that the Holocaust didn't happen instead of just typing them out. To prevent privacy concerns or people mimicking other voices and extend the capabilities of deepfakes, OpenAI says their ChatGPT can only be used of one of four locked voices. And so that option is cut off from would-be deepfakes of Donald J. Trump calling Kamala Harris not black. That's real. You believe that Vice President Kamala Harris is only on the ticket because she's a black woman? Well, I can say no. I think it's maybe a little bit different. So uh, I've known her a long time indirectly, not directly very much. And she was always of Indian heritage and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black and now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? She has always but identified you know as a black woman. I respect she went to a black one. college. I respect either one, but she obviously doesn't because she was Indian all the way and then all of a sudden she made a turn and she went, she became a black person. Just Speaking of AI gone awry, good news, MIT has unveiled they've created a method to ensure that AI sticks better to reality, real history, and more. It's another AI running on top of the AI you are using, and there we have it. Humans are on their way out. As the old saying goes, the nose knows. And it's true when it comes to bacteria and viruses. Researchers have discovered long-lived immune cells right in your nose and other air pathways from there, throughout the sinuses. These immune cells seem to last longer and are stronger than many immune cells found in the rest of your body. Even amongst people with weakened immune systems, they find this to be true. They think this may help with future vaccines where taking a snort might prove far better than getting stabbed in the not-so-distant future. We all should know that polls aren't as predictive as we'd like, and why? Well, depending on how a question is asked or what the options are, it can be a prime Primer for the person who's answering the question to answer one way or another. Above and beyond that, unless there's a clear leader, well over to the one to kind of four points that typical polls may show, one person leading by or another, then it doesn't really matter thanks to margins of error. And that's why, for now, there's not much stock I give to the polling between Trump and Harris. Yeah, she's showing some surprising catching up. Yes, this is her bottom versus his kind of ceiling in the polling world since he's been campaigning all this time. There's also some honeymoon effect with Harris going on, her VP pick, all the news coverage, yada, yada, yada. All this is to say, there are a few battleground states that look right now like they may be shifting more towards Harris than Trump and definitely more than what Biden was carrying. Will that last? All I know is, if Trump wins, we'll have elected the only president to have knowingly attempted to override the will of the people's vote through fraudulent electors being sent to be get, get certified and if Harris wins, we'll have some really angry, crazy people running around who own guns. But hey, we will have better policies once the dust settles, yeah? And a cotton candy lobster was caught off the coast of Newcastle, New Hampshire. There are two sad things about this story. The first, that lobster is most definitely going to be eaten. And two, it does not taste like cotton candy. Blue is a super rare color in nature, but there are tricks of lighting and various other pigments that make various plants and animals appear to have blue coloring, making this the saddest story of the day, because it's not even really blue. At least it isn't this way from toxic water or toxic pollution in the ocean or anything like that, though.